my gallbladder. Let's send some healing energy to gallbladder and liver, our wood element. So if we follow the meridians up, the face point is beside the eye. So we can touch the location of the pain and tap. We can think about what in life does this pain represent? Related to anger and then into the local areas. Right below the pack is the liver point and right below that is gallbladder. So dig between those ribs and see if you can find some tender areas there. If you find some tenderness, push in and massage for 30 seconds a minute and then stretch your head upward, tractioning, and then look for another spot. If you come down into gallbladder and you find something there, push in and stretch and then under the ribs, poke in. You can stimulate the gallbladder a little bit this way, so be careful if it's too congested. We should develop a feel for pain that feels good and pain that feels bad. If you were to touch an open wound or a fractured bone, that pain doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel helpful. Everything in your body should be saying, nope, don't do that. We need stability. We need to keep it safe. But if it's like, oh, what that feels like exactly what I need, that's the feeling that we're looking for. It might be really tender and you might only be able to push a little bit, but it'll feel like, oh, that's exactly what I need. And then after we've worked on those local points, come back and touch and tap a little bit more to just kind of get that energy flowing. And then we'll go into the gallbladder meridian. So gallbladder starts on the fourth toe and the first point is always on the nail. So you can squeeze the nail just to give that meridian a little burst. These nail points are compared to where you turn the water on. So if the flow is a little low, you want to turn the water up a little bit. Let's turn that flow up a little bit. And then you come up between the pinky toe and the fourth toe. And right at the web space there is the next point, gallbladder 43. And then up in between those bones, 42, 41. From the ankle bone below it and in front right there is gallbladder 40. And again, what you're doing is just looking for tenderness. If that's tender, poke in a little bit. It's like, oh, yep, let's, let's spend a little time there. Anytime you feel an intense pain, you can do the stretch because pain injury goes like this. Ugh! And we're just going up, stretching it out. Gallbladder comes up four fingers from that ankle bone. In front of the fibula bone, you can dig through that space there. 39, 38, 37, up a little higher is 36, 35 behind the bone. And then 34 is the head of that bone. So up here you can feel like the bump where that fibula comes up and attaches to the knee. Right below that and in front, below, in front, right in there is gallbladder 34. And that's a pretty important point. It's a wide acting point. So it affects all parts of your body. Very powerful point. Below gallbladder 34 is an extra point, one or two fingers down. It's just an extra point for gallbladder. So just check in there and see if there's any tenderness. Push into the tenderness and stretch. So we've hit proximal, local, and some distal points. We're looking for that tenderness. We can also just stimulate that meridian, get some energy flowing. We can use an open fist like this and whap. Gallbladder comes into the hip through the side of the leg, down the side of the lower leg, lateral side of the foot here. Spend a little time, you know, just like pressing points, you want to spend a minute on each area. Gallbladder's on your right, but you can do the points on the left as well. Gallbladder channel flows down. So you do kind of want to tap downward. And then we'll do liver three as well, which is between the first and second toes. This is good for gallbladder problems as well. Slide up to where the bones come together and push in there. See if you can find some tenderness. Push into the tenderness and stretch. And then we'll do our exercises.